around 1.45 p.m., I had the pre-made chicken cob salad that we got from Wegmans the other day. I'm typically not a big fan of blue cheese, but in this case, it was enjoyable. Most likely because there was a bunch of other stuff with it. In this case, the blue cheese added to the aesthetic of the salad, giving it somewhat of a unique taste. I like chicken cob salads because I like chicken, hard boiled eggs, and bacon. I like the bits of bacon that come with at least that particular chicken cob salad though. I know it's not exactly the healthiest thing, bacon. These cheese sticks are also from an old pack. I think they're the last of it. Roughly from three to 5 p.m. I first helped mom with taking down the ornaments and putting them away. I helped carry some of the containers for the for our ornaments from the basement to the first floor where our living room is connected to the kitchen area and in this case it was just a matter of dealing with one flight of stairs that I didn't even have to. I don't think uh, go down all the way because mom helped me. At least uh, for one trip. For other trips I went down that flight of stairs but It was no problem. I, for the most part, pretty much exclusively took the ornaments off of the tree. My mom put them away into spaces within the containers. Though mom did take some of the ornaments off of the tree. It was easier to take the ornaments off the tree than it was to put them back on because in the case of taking them off, I didn't have to worry about the placement of every ornament. To ensure that none of them would fall off the branch.
though I did have a couple of close calls uh, with metal hooks. Yeah, but ultimately, none of them got through into my fingers for the most part. <clears throat> Excuse me. After I was done with that, done taking the ornaments off of the tree, I walked to Wegmans to return a black plastic garbage bag full of deposit containers. bottles or cans that have a deposits on them typically for five cents around noon when I was essentially thinking about what to do today, it was just partially cloudy and pretty sunny, but by the time I did to walk did the walk to Wegmans around roughly from four to five PM it was completely overcast. The walk oh, it wasn't too difficult. I just had to keep alternating which hand I carried the black plastic garbage bag, oh, which was made somewhat heavy because it contained some glass bottles. Yeah, but, but it wasn't too hard for me. I did what I usually do for these walks and listen to some music. Both on the way to Wegmans and the way back home from Wegmans. I ultimately got back two dollars and fifteen cents in container deposits. Uh, which mom said I could have. Since I'm the one who walked to Wegmans. To return those container deposits. In the past, at in the past, oh, when I returned containers. 
to Wegmans, I would say I was making money. Since that's how it felt uh, to get the container deposit deposits back, but I've long since learned that. They add an extra five cent charge to every bottle, whether it's part of a pack or not. And you then get that money back when you return the container. So you're not really making any money. Again, though, it felt like I was making money. And it still does to some extent. Still returning container deposits. There's a good way to get some exercise. Returning the containers helps the environment. And emptying that black plastic garbage bag that contained, I believe, old Wegmans plastic bags with glass containers, glass bottles surrounded by plastic bottles with about four high noon aluminum cans mixed in. Uh, which don't have deposits on them, so I had to filter those out separately. While I was dealing with first getting the plastic containers and then the glass containers. And then put those into an individual bin for bottles and cans. It seems the area right before you go into the actual store itself has changed a bit. Yeah, but It's still the same Wegmans that I've gone to many times in the past. Well, I got back with a few minutes to spare before 5 p.m., which is roughly the point in which it gets dark or starts to get dark in our area. Uh, Mom told me that she suddenly decided we should unscrew uh, the bolts for the tree stand that hold the tree in place. 
so we could get the tree out. And put it on our front yard. And ultimately clear out some space in our living room. That way when we uh, go on the Wii and pl play with it, we don't risk colliding with the tree and knocking some ornaments off of it. Yeah, plus, had we left the tree up, at some point, needles would fall off and that would make potentially cause some of the ornaments to fall off. I put on two different work gloves. By that I mean two work gloves that look different, and I think I accidentally put them on the wrong hands, but they still worked as intended. Wrong hands because they felt funny. It was a bit difficult to put them on and they felt a bit funny while they were on at times, but they still worked as intended. All that mattered was is that I had them to protect my hands from Potentially getting a needle in them um, from getting pricked by a needle. AKA the leaves of a Christmas tree. And not that those needles are as prone to pricking you as the thorns of a rose. In fact, far from that. But the risk is still there. I carried that tree out and myself into the area we typically drop off the garbage bin and recycling bin for garbage collection. Doing that wasn't terribly hard. I managed it with just some effort. As for me, when I was taking the ornaments off the tree, I was the one who got the precious ones that are at the very top of the tree since I'm tall compared to my mom.
I also got at least some of the ornaments at the very bottom, though. The sudden drop and rise and elevation, essentially the crouching down and whatnot I would have to do for those ornaments at the very bottom when I got back up to a standing position would uh, leave me the slightest bit uh, lightheaded, but I would be perfectly fine. Uh, maybe in those cases I got up a bit too suddenly. Too quickly. The chicken and broccoli uh, that I just had are A uh, leftover from when I first had a uh, chicken and broccoli when it was prepared or finished being prepared around 7.30 p.m. Sometime after I did those 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. things that essentially made up the most active part of today. Uh, both around that time after I had finished everything and within the first hours of today, I had some of mom's chocolate chip cookies. And in the morning hours, the first hours of today, I had a gingerbread cookie, one of the cookies that made up our gingerbread barn is simply just because I don't want those cookies to go to waste and if I don't eat them sooner or later they'll become stale. Uh, so that's ultimately what I did.